right. So um, I was talking to uh, the guys from Musco, um, namely Peter and Thomas, about uh, how they actually do the transferring from sheet music to the digital format, um, music XML. And uh, apparently it is a lot of effort that is put into that, and it's a great initiative, uh, the Open, open Scores initiative. And I was thinking about how you could easily, uh, how you could actually um, uh, f ease up the process of transforming sheet music as it is on paper into the music XML format. So I was I was thinking about a um, some some kind of uh, little game because people are just crazy for games, and if there's uh, something in the world uh, where people get engaged, then it's definitely games. So I thought about uh, maybe I could create some kind of game to engage people to actually help with transforming um, sheet music to the digital format. And this is the process that I came up with. It's um, more of a process description. I did a small prototype you will see later on, but it's uh, Obviously, it's not yet working. So um, this is the Tchaikovsky Symphony Number no. Five, and um, as I mentioned, the system you would just take the piece of paper and you would uh, somehow uh, split it up into small chunks, because um, as it is done currently um, by the by MuseScore, um, is they just give full papers or one sheet to a person and. Um, this person uh, just transfers it into the digital format. And one sheet of paper is quite a lot, I thought. So I would rather give really small pieces to the people and just split up the, the whole sheet music into chunks of uh, one bar and maybe later on two bars or three bars. And here you go with the cello voice. So this is the... Do you see the cursor? Yeah. So this is actually the, the bar number one of the cello voice of the final movement of the symphony. And you could just present um, this image to a person. And this person is in the web browser and would create a score, ideally in a um, scores editor in the browser. So as it turned out, I had a really hard time to find some working um, score editor for the browser. Uh, there is a couple of JavaScript uh, approaches, but they are either really old or not up to date or just not working and horribly coded. So if there is someone um, that uh, who actually comes up with a nicely working, easy to integrate um, JavaScript editor for the browser HTML5 stuff, uh, this would be really helpful. So once, uh, once the user created the first bar, of the cello voice in a digital format. The user would send these single bar score to a database. And then there would be another user down here who would uh, get the second bar of this cello voice. And um, they, would actually be, uh, they would actually do the same, so they would create the scores for their bars and uh, submit them. And then on the server, there would be some kind of combination process which would uh, combine all the incoming uh, bars. So you would actually have to track which bars connected to which image before. That's you just get track of the, of the order of the piece. And um, this already brings you to a small issue. So if you have multiple bars that are connected through a tie, for example, uh, you couldn't cover this in the first uh, iteration. So if you only get one bar, there would be a missing tie afterwards to the second bar. So um, you, could, you could actually implement a, an, iter an iterative approach where you would combine the first uh, submitted bars into longer chunks and present them to other users or the same users again in maybe the next level of the game. So you would have, in the end, a even longer piece of your uh, full score already. So and if you iterate and iterate over it, um, in the end, 
ideally you, you would have to, um, the full score available. So this is the state of the project. Um, the first step would be splitting up the sheet music uh, with some kind of automated um, process because you don't want to uh, do it manually. You don't want to uh, cut 200 pieces of uh, sheets of papers into little chunks of bars. Uh, then you would have to let uh, users create scores with an online editor. You would have to combine the scores parts afterwards on the server and then go into other iterations to um, represent the, these combined scores and refine the, the digital scores. So this is what is implemented already. So there's the, the minor step of, uh, of, of splitting up the sheet music I left out. And I just implemented the second one, um, let the users create the scores, and the combination part is not yet done. And also the uh, iteration part is not yet done. But as it is, it is already uh, open sourced. So uh, I just pushed it to GitHub and created a demo app for it. So let's look into this demo app. Uh, it's hosted on Heroku. And it's called crowdsourced. So here, here would actually be the, the starting point for the game somehow. And if you go to start with your first bar, you are just presented with an image. So this is, again, the first bar of the cello, cello voice. And down here, there would be um, the online editor, which I didn't implement because of the lacking libraries. Uh, so I just, I just used a uh, drag and drop. So if you go here and just, uh, so basically you would by now export or just create the first, first bar you can see in the image with, for example, MuseScore, export it to a music XML file and just drop it here and it is directly uploaded and it's already stored. So the demo app already has a database that is storing the, the files. And uh, once this is done, you would get the next challenge and you could, you could uh, go on with, the, with other bars. So challenges uh, would be how to deal with the notation covering the multiple bars. Um, as I said, you would just iterate in, or you would have multiple iterations to um, allow users to refine the already available scores or also give them longer snippets of uh, bar images, for example. And then the next question would be how uh, would you ensure the quality of the scores? Because you ha if, you, if you have an open source or an open system, um, it's actually the same like uh, for, for Wikipedia, for example, where, you, where every user could just submit scores. You would definitely have some, um, some, some trash in there and some uh, spam. So the idea here was if you um, have these iterations, these refinements, and uh, if you make a game out of it uh, with different levels, and if each level, uh, if each higher level gets longer scores, then actually the users who would um, who would commit the most uh, to to the system would also get the, the longer scores. So the users they are uh, that are most committing would also be the ones um, who who are most uh, most able to to see not working things and just just check the longer pieces. And then also the question is how to engage users to actually create scores. So um, apparently for MuseScore is quite some effort to get uh, some users aboard. And uh, as they told us, they are giving away free accounts, for example, which is already a really nice, um, uh, a really nice thing to do. But in the end, the users should be engaged by some intrinsic motivation. So um, you, you would have to give them some, some kind of feedback. So if you want to create the um, Fifth Symphony of Tchaikovsky, for example, which is a huge work, um, you, would, you would just have to show them, uh, for example, the progress of the, of the project. So if you um, constantly show users uh, what they actually contributed to the, to the community, 
with their small pieces and, and chunks of bars, it is already motivating. And um, there are a couple of systems uh, out there for, uh, for example, contributing to open source software, which um, do things like uh, you could just uh, subscribe via email and you would get um, issues via email, sent by email each week or each day, depending on um, what, your, uh, what your settings are. And you could actually do the same with this. So instead of uh, having the daily chocolate bar, for example, you could have just a daily scores bar. Yeah, so that's it. Check it out. And I will definitely work on this uh, the next couple of days. And you can see the progress then on the demo app. Thanks.